On February 6, 2023, INS Vikrant, India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, IAC, hosted the naval version of the LCA, marking a significant milestone in aviation history. By the end of this month, the first LCA Tejas MK-1A will be flying. The Indian Air Force will receive it shortly after. Hi, welcome to our channel. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get updated daily and at the same time like our video. Thanks. Let's start. HAL has partnered with Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation to assemble Tejas MK-1 locally. India is willing to provide the local assembly of the Naval Strike variant MK-1A. The Naval Strike variant will be armed with air-launched BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles and India is also providing soft loans to the archipelagic nation so that it can modernize its armed forces. HAL has been attempting to sell its military hardware in Southeast Asia. India needs to strengthen its defense exports and the Southeast Asian region is essential. In pursuit of this goal, HAL opened a second office in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in 2022 with the aim of serving the whole Southeast Asian region. The fighter lead and trainer, FLIT, LCA is the company flagship product from the HAL. Additionally, the manufacturer of aircraft provides maintenance and repair services to nations that have Russian fleets like the Su-30. Although LCA is still in the process of closing its first contract, Southeast Asian nations looking to defy China may be drawn in by the promise of Indian Tejas and local assembly. Over 40 operational improvements from the Mark 1 will be carried over to the Mark 1A. Enhancements like air-to-air -air refueling, beyond visual range, BVR, capabilities, and the ability to jam enemy radars are features of the new Mark 1A variant. At the moment, HAL can produce 8 LCA aircraft annually. By 2025, this will increase to 16 aircraft annually and over the following three years, it will reach 24 aircraft annually. The IF is largely depending on the LCA Tejas to make up for the shortage of fighter squadrons and the deliveries of LCA MK-1A are expected to be distributed over the course of the next four years as planned. This makes HAL's proposal to assist the Philippines in acquiring the capacity to produce the fighter domestically more reasonable. HAL, citing logistical issues, Philippine Air Force grounds half of its Korean F-A-50 fighter jets and finds solace in the Philippines. The F-A-50 jet's operational readiness was adversely affected by a delay in spare delivery. A naval version of the LCA Tejas MK-1A would be proposed for the island nation, which has one of the longest coastlines in the world and is engaged in a territorial dispute with China. This would undoubtedly add spice to the competition. What do you think of the locally made Tejas MK-1A for the Philippines? Write your comment below. This ends our video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. See you in the next one.